We know it's easy to share good news with family, like moving to a new city, welcoming a new baby into the family, or buying a new car. Sharing other news, like a new health issue, can be more challenging. People who have a lysosomal storage disorder in their family may find themselves navigating this situation. Lysosomal storage disorders are a type of genetic condition that are hereditary, meaning they often run in families. They can have many different symptoms that impact your health and may get worse over time. Lysosomal storage disorders can be difficult for a doctor to diagnose, and depending on the condition, the symptoms can present in several parts of your body. People can live with symptoms for many years without figuring out what is causing them. Having a diagnosis is helpful for managing your own symptoms, but is also important for other family members. If there is one person in a family diagnosed with a lysosomal storage disorder, there's a chance others can be diagnosed as well. One helpful way to figure out who might be at risk for a lysosomal storage disorder in your family is to start with your family history. An easy way to begin is to think about your family members. Do they have symptoms similar to the condition in the family? Have they had a hard time getting a diagnosis to explain why they are not feeling well? Have they been tested for the condition? You can work with a genetics health care provider or a Sanofi Genzyme CareConnect PSS Patient Education Liaison to create a visual representation of your family history called a medical family tree. During this process, they'll ask you questions about your relatives and their medical conditions. They will use that information to draw your medical family tree, which will hold clues about your family's health and will help you keep track of the lysosomal storage disorders in your family. Your medical family tree can help you understand who in your family may be at risk of having a lysosomal storage disorder, and it can show you who in your family may benefit from genetic testing. You or your family members may have symptoms of a lysosomal storage disorder without even knowing it. We know discussing health information with relatives does not always come naturally. Everyone has their own way of learning and processing this kind of information. Do they prefer to talk on the phone? Receive a letter? Is there another family member they feel comfortable talking to? Use what you know about your relatives to help you decide the best way to bring this up with each person. Some people may not remember or understand what you discussed the first time, so it's okay to check in with your relatives after your initial conversation. Remember, even those in the same family may have symptoms of a lysosomal storage disorder without even knowing it. Talking to your family members about your medical family tree can help you and your relatives see the benefit of talking to a healthcare professional about genetic testing. To hear more about why a medical family tree is important and how to go about creating one, please contact your PEL or your local genetics healthcare provider.